Cat, it's Maximus here. Found this at a thrift store. Actually, I have found all of my rechargeable battery chargers at thrift stores. This one caught my eye because of the big display. Plug it in. They still sell this thing. And this one does work. It does accept these big 26, 650 lithium ion batteries. Turn that light back on. And it is certified for them. It's not really designed for that. It's really more of a four bay 18650 or a variety of other lithium ion cells. These get pretty darn close. So it will work with one of these. We plug it in here. It detects a higher voltage. And then it just has something pretty simple where it has a, some modes where it displays the charge current. It's only 1.5 amps, so if you have two cells, it'll do 750 milliamps per cell. If you have four, it'll only do 375. But at least it's independent, and it does auto-detect the lithium ion. What I have been noticing is I have some of these old Kodak. Uh, these are pre-charged, rechargeable 2,000 milliamp uh, AA nickel metal hydride. So they're a really good kind of nickel metal hydride. And I've been putting these in there. And sometimes it gives me an error, but what we can tell, if we can get that to zoom in, is it does auto detect them. These were totally dead out of the package, and when it, and this charger would actually display an error message. And see, I'm trying to see if it will get any of them to see. So it's giving me an error, and not on this cell. If we pull that out, we'll do that one more time in a different slot, the slot, I have said that twice, so error, and that's what's annoying, is since this is designed to try to auto detect two way different battery technologies, lithium ion or nickel metal hydride, it just won't try to deliver a charge if the battery has too low voltage for safety concerns. Here I have this old Sony uh, Cycle Energy nickel metal hydride charger, which I actually do like. And if I put this same battery that was just giving me an error, it's going to detect. And look at that. It's charging just fine. And I bet just right here in the video, I can just give it a few seconds of charge off of this one. Like so. Pop this out. Plug the DigiCore back in. The DigiCore does have a 12 volt input as well as a figure eight, which is kind of neat. You can use that in a car, 12 volt lighter. Let's put that battery back in here. Now I just gave it a tiny little voltage bump. No, it'll still give me air. I need to give it a little bit more power. So that's the one annoying thing about this. The other annoying thing about this is the fact that it does technically work. I just showed it works with a 26650 which is an awesome cell, like these 50, this 5,500 milliamp hour. This is like a 20 watt hour battery, pretty incredible. The thing is, it's really designed for 18650s. So if I put one of these on the side, it tilts it up and doesn't make contact. It also means that I can't run two 26650s side by side. You can stuff one in there, but only one at a time, so it's kind of, false advertising that it's 26650 compatible because you can only charge one at a time in a four bay charger because the two side bays don't have enough space for this battery diameter but i will keep it for regular 18650s that will be handy a four bay 18650 charger is not the easiest thing to find but for the 35 bucks they want on amazon for that i would find another charger and the buttons on the side one is just to select what slot that you're going through and the mode you press and hold and that allows you to manually slow down the charging current uh, i'm not it's already so low current i don't know exactly why you would, might want to do that maybe if it was outside and it was really hot you'd do that and charging lithium-ion batteries you press and hold that and it cut it in half the other disappointment is the fact that there's just a, such a low output current we can see that 0.375 amps times four Come on now, that's a low, and even at the regular charge rate, which is by two, 750 milliamps, charge up a battery like this, which is 5,500, I mean, that would take six or seven hours. <laughs> and for the 35, 40 bucks for, they want for it, 
uh, not actually holding four of the batteries it says it's compatible with, and being unbelievably slow uh, is not worth the money. I'd find something different. Anyway, <laughs> unless you can find this like me at a thrift store for a few bucks. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.